In this video, I just want to show you the two different ways that you can crop images using Adobe Illustrator. Now, if you've got a photo, a raster image, or a bitmap image, you can crop uh, those images just like you would in Photoshop. Okay, so on my screen here now, I've got a photo. All you need to do to crop it is grab your selection tool from your toolbox, click on the image that you want to crop, and over in your properties panel, come down to the quick actions and you'll see the option here to crop the image. So click on that. Just a little warning will come up saying that the original file won't be linked anymore and actually going to embed it into your document. That's fine, so click OK. And you can see those usual little crop tools that you expect to see in programs like Photoshop. So hold shift and just start dragging in from a corner. Okay, that way it'll keep its proportions if you hold shift. If you don't care about proportions, by all means, just grab any old corner and start cropping as you see fit. Okay, when you're happy with it, just click apply over here in your properties panel and you've got yourself a cropped image. Okay, so that's the first way we can crop in Illustrator. Now, Illustrator is mainly used for illustrations like this, not for photos. Okay, and we can't crop these images here as easily. Alright, so what I've done here is I've purposely drawn outside my artboard lines. Just so I've got this little bit of a mess down the bottom. I actually want to get rid of them, cut them out. Alright, so what I need to do is I need to make a clipping mask. And the way we do that is quite simple. We go over and grab our rectangle tool from our toolbox here. Turn the fill off, so in your fill colour there, make sure you've turned it off by having the white box and the red line through it. And we're going to choose a stroke. It doesn't matter what colour. I'm going to choose bright red because there's no other red in my document, so we'll be able to see it clearly. And I'll turn that up to about 5 point, just so you can see it as well. And what I'm going to do is draw a red rectangle around the border there of my page. So it follows the lines of the artboard. With my selection tool, I'll just click off everything, and you can clearly see that red border now. What I want to do is keep everything inside of that border and just get rid of what's below it. Okay, so what I'm going to do with my selection tool now is click and drag over everything. So I've got everything selected. Okay, from here, I'm going to just left click my mouse on my red border. You'll see the word path come up as I hover over it. Okay, you don't need to hold shift or anything like that. You just left click on it and it will turn blue. You're now ready to make your clipping mask. So right click your mouse anywhere on the page and make clipping mask. What that will do is we'll chop out anything that was outside of that red border and just keep what was inside of it. Okay, so as you can see now, my vector image has been cropped. Now, it's actually just hiding what was outside of the artboard before. You can see if I hover over these hills, they're still actually there. You just can't see them. If you do need to get them back for some reason, you can right-click on your document and release the clipping mask. Okay, and that just gets rid of that border we drew before, and everything outside of the lines will come back. Okay, but I definitely don't want that. It looks a lot neater if we just leave it clipped. All right, so that's the two ways that you can crop or clip as such in Adobe Illustrator.